For someone who gets vertigo, a lot of my videos seem to involve me climbing up tall things, don't they? Oh. Kia ora, I'm in Whanganui uh, atop the Jury Hill Elevator, the only one of its kind in the world. And we'll go on it in just a moment. Behind me is the War Memorial Tower and I'll show you a shot from the top there in a second. Um, but in just a moment, let's uh, go down in the elevator. It's only $2 for adults and we'll go and check out the river and Whanganui. The panoramic views from up here are just gorgeous. On a good day, you can see to Namaonga, Ropehu to the northeast and Taranaki to the northwest, 85 and 111 kilometers away respectively. Jury Hill Elevator opened in 1919 to serve the bustling new garden suburb of Jury Hill. This suburb was planned by the architect Samuel Hurst Seeger and is considered to be the first modern New Zealand suburb. Faced with a very steep cliff face or a long and still steep road, a tunnel and elevator were installed to provide access to residents. Technically this is an edit, not a tunnel as it has no exit point. The tunnel is 213 metres long and joins from the riverbank to the bottom of the shaft. The elevator is 66 metres tall and is unique for its kind in the world. Right now we're looking down on the elevator tower from the Whanganui War Memorial Tower, a memorial to World War I soldiers from the district. Built in 1925, it is 113 metres, or 372 feet, above sea level and the viewing platform is another 33 and a half, or 104 metres high. When Jury Hill became part of the Whanganui Borough in 1910, access was via a steep concrete staircase. The council needed to provide public transport to the hilltop settlement so plans were drawn for a cable car before deciding on an elevator as the, quote, the most convenient, the safest, the most economical and the most suited for the circumstances of this particular locality. The 500 volt DC power for the elevator originally came from the city tram system. In 1951 a mercury arc rectifier was installed to convert electricity from the 230 volt AC local distribution network after this tram system was removed. The Jury Hill elevator is a unique facility and is ranked by Puheri Taonga Heritage New Zealand as a category 1 historic place, the highest level of protection. It is the only underground elevator in the country and one of only two elevators in the world to serve a hill's top suburb of a town. The other is Santa Justa Elevator in Lisbon, Portugal. The current entranceway on Anzac Parade was designed by graduate architect Henry Dixon and opened in 2021, replacing an earlier structure that was built in the 1970s. It relates to the Awa acting as tributary and orienting the flow of power through the shelter and towards the mouth of the river. The structure responds to the Po adjacent installed by Manufenua Putiki Farinui and Te Runanga or Taupohu. That was the uh that was the elevator. We've got this nice long tunnel to come out and a lovely little archway before we hit the riverside. The elevator is open 8 till 6 Monday to Friday, 10 till 5 on weekends and public holidays. The car takes four passengers and is operated by singer-songwriter Anthony Turner. Um, first time travelling with us? Yes. Excellent. The previous operator, Zena Mabbitt, had operated it for approximately 50 years. It takes approximately one minute to ascend or descend, and prices are currently $2 for adults, 50 cents for students, with children free and concession tickets available. Have a great day. You too. Visiting is easy, there is a car park at both ends, and you can easily walk to the tunnel entrance from the city centre over the Victoria Avenue Bridge. If you'd rather take the stairs, there are 193 of them, and I'm told it'll take you about 19 minutes. I didn't do them myself.